Welcome to Clean Sport Basics, presented by the CCES Athlete Services and Education Team. This session will expand your understanding of what clean sport means and provide you with the information and tools necessary to protect the athletes you serve from inadvertent doping violations. We consider sport clean when participants actively practice the values of true sport and it is free of doping, both because participants choose not to dope and because they have the knowledge, tools, and motivation to protect themselves from unintentional doping. If we want good sport to happen, there needs to be a shift towards cultivating good sport experiences and it has to be intentional. That intentional change is where we come in. The Canadian Centre for Ethics in Sport, known as the CCES, is Canada's anti-doping agency and has a vision for sport in Canada that is fair, safe, and open to everyone. The CCES is responsible for implementing the Canadian Anti-Doping Program, or CADP. The CADP is designed to prevent, deter, and detect doping, and as a result, it protects the integrity of sport and the rights of clean athletes in Canada. The current version of the CADP came into force on January 1, 2021. The CADP is compliant with the World Anti-Doping Code and all of the associated international standards. We work to make sport fair, safe, and open through our anti-doping program. Collecting and analyzing samples is a major contributor to the deterrence of doping and works to keep sport fair. To this end, the CCES conducts in-competition and out-of-competition testing. In-competition testing is generally conducted at the conclusion of an event. Out-of-competition involves collecting samples from individual athletes in an out-of-competition setting with little or no advance notice of the test. Athletes can be notified at any time and any place to provide a sample, either urine, blood, or both. A doping control officer will inform the athletes of their rights and responsibilities and guide them through the entire process. During doping control, athletes have the right to a representative who can accompany them throughout the process. This is a requirement for athletes who are minors. An interpreter, if available, to ask for additional information regarding the sample collection process and to document any concerns to request a delay in reporting to the doping control station for valid reasons providing they are chaperoned during the delay, and to request modifications to the sample collection process. During doping control, athletes have the responsibility to remain within the site of sample collection personnel from the time they are notified until the doping control process is completed, produce identification, comply with sample collection procedures, Report immediately to the doping control station for testing unless delayed for valid reasons. And maintain control of their sample until it is sealed. Further, as athlete support personnel, you may take part in the sample collection process. For example, as a representative or an interpreter. You have the responsibility to understand and comply with the sample collection process, cooperate with athlete testing programs, and assist the doping control officer and chaperone by providing access to the athlete. The prohibited list identifies which substances and methods are prohibited in sport. This includes prescription medications, non-prescription medications, recreational drugs and substances of abuse, and methods of treatment that are prohibited. The CADP incorporates the prohibited list so the samples we collect are tested for the substances on the list. We use a tool called the Global DRO to look up the status of substances. We'll discuss it more soon. So, how can we help support athletes and athlete support personnel to practice clean sport? Well, we have five simple steps that we call the Clean Sport Five. Step 1. Athletes need to check their medications. To this end, athlete support personnel might be asked to help athletes determine which medications are permitted in sport. You can use Global Dro to determine the status of any prescription or over-the-counter medication. Using Global Dro, you can look up prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, and other drugs. It is important to note Global Dro does not include supplements. Here's an example of a prescription medication search on Global Dro. The prescription medication is prednisone 5mg tab, 
a glucocorticoid medication used primarily to suppress the immune system and decrease inflammation. When using the Global Drow, please search for prescription or non-prescription medications using the eight-digit drug identification number, or DIN, located on the bottle or package. This will provide the most accurate results. This medication is prohibited in competition. The in-competition period typically starts at 11.59 p.m. on the day before a competition through to the end of sample collection at said competition. Out of competition refers to any period which is not in competition. Simply put, if a substance is also prohibited out of competition, an athlete may not use that substance at any time without a medical exemption. For step two of the Clean Sport 5, athletes should know their exemption requirements. If an athlete is taking a prohibited prescription medication, they may need to apply for a medical exemption right away. The medical exemption process allows athletes to take these prohibited medications for medically justified reasons. They can use the ME Wizard on the CCES website to begin the process. Step 3. Athletes should be cannabis smart. Cannabis is prohibited in competition. It is very difficult to predict how long it will take for cannabis to clear an athlete's body, which means that using cannabis out of competition can still cause a positive test in competition. Lots of companies, researchers, and athletes are talking about cannabidiol, or CBD. CBD by itself isn't prohibited, but you should know that CBD products usually contain some THC, which is prohibited. Athletes have used CBD out of competition and have tested positive for THC in competition. Treat CBD products like any other supplement, with great caution. As with other prohibited substances, athletes can apply for a medical exemption for cannabis if used for the treatment of a medical condition. For step 4, we encourage all athletes to question their supplement use. We recognize that a large majority of athletes use supplements, but under the CADP, they need to be extra careful of what they put into their bodies. Athletes are responsible for anything found in their sample. This is the principle of strict liability. Let's define what we're talking about here. Supplements and natural health products claim to support good health, but are neither food nor medication. This can include vitamins and minerals, probiotics, energy drinks, protein powders, pre-workout mixes, weight loss products, and more. There is no guarantee a supplement isn't contaminated, mislabeled, or even counterfeit. So, is there anything we can do to minimize the risk? To minimize risk, athletes can talk to a doctor or a registered dietitian to determine whether a supplement is needed or recommended for health, recovery, or performance reasons. Athletes and athlete support personnel need to research the product. Are there warnings or complaints about the product or company online? What other products does this company make? Do these other products contain prohibited substances? Any supplement an athlete chooses to use should be tested for prohibited substances by a reliable batch testing program like the ones shown here. NSF International's Certified for Sport is one of the easier programs to consult. And finally, step five, live your values. If it's important to you that sport is fair, to pursue excellence, to be inclusive, and to have fun, then you're halfway there already. You can learn more about values-based sport at truesport.ca. I hope you now have more tools to help advance clean sport in Canada. The CCES is here to help you. You can contact us directly at any of the email addresses shown here. More information on everything we've presented today is available online at cces.ca. Thank you for your time.